Hi guys, welcome back to another short online tutorial. My name is Jack, one of the tutors at Blue Sky Graphics, and we are based in InDesign today. And let's show you some cool stuff. The reason why we are here today, guys, is to discuss how do we use the gradient feather tool in InDesign. We have an example in front of us here. As you can see, it's a double spread. We have an image on the left-hand side of the double spread. And obviously on the right-hand side, you can see we have a nice text box filled with Lauren Ipsum placeholder text. Now, as you can see, the image was placed within a frame. As you can see, it blends nicely into that page. Okay, because if there was no blend, probably the text would clash with the image and it wouldn't be sort of readable and you didn't have to squint. So it's very nice to add a gradient feather. Okay, and this is used across a lot of um, layout designs and magazine designs uh, throughout graphic design. So what I'm gonna do now is showcase you how to do it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply go to window pages, okay? And let's go to my friend here. And first of all, what I'm gonna do is create a frame, okay? Let's make sure that uh, the frame covers what we want it to cover. So let's say about half the page here will do, will pop into place when we reach that, it turn pink there. And what I would like to do is place a image with inside this frame. So I'm going to use the shortcut command D on Mac or control D on Windows to place an image within inside it like so. One of the new features now in the new uh, 20, uh, 2022 version of InDesign is we have this little option up here, which is content aware fit. InDesign will help you and will determine the best parts of the image to keep within the frame. As you can see, very easy and very quick. Now what I'm gonna do is get some text. So let's create some nice text box like so. I'm gonna right click fill it with some placeholder text. And let's manipulate it a little bit here. Just so that we can get it all looking nice and perfect. Now what I wanna do is make sure the alignment of the text box is correct. I'm not gonna guess it, I'm gonna use InDesign to help me. So I'm gonna have my text box selected. I'm gonna to go to window objects and layout and the line when you're using your align option guys what you must be aware of is what you're aligning to okay which is this option here so at the moment what i would like to do is to align to page so i must have a line to page ticked and i want to align it horizontally and vertically perfect like so okay now as you can see right this image clashes with this text okay you can see that you may have a squint and yeah it's not really readable. So this is where the gradient feather tool will come in help. So I'm just gonna select the frame like so, and we have the gradient feather tool here. So wherever I start, the gradient feather tool will be the opaque bit, and where I end will be the transparent bit of the feather option. So now if I come about here, let's say I'm gonna press shift because I want a nice, perfect line across, and this I finish my feather like there. And as you can see, we have now applied a gradient feather to that image, therefore making that text more readable and not stressful on the eyes. So guys, that is how you use the gradient feather tool within InDesign. If you wanna find out more uh, about graphic design or anything about our school, don't hesitate visiting our uh, website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Also check our Instagram out at uh, Blue Sky Graphics UK for some of our amazing work by our own great students. Thank you very much, guys. Take care and I'll see you next time.